So, got a ridge monkey, bored of doing the same meals over and over again. Try this new dish. It's a Moroccan style couscous. Great for vegetarians because there's no meat in it, but you could add some meat if you wanted to, if you were a non-vegetarian. Stay tuned. Watch this video for some new recipes for the Ridge Monkey. See you at the end. As you can see, it's olive oil. What's that? Turmeric. Yeah. Teaspoon of turmeric. Turmeric, 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 turmeric. <laughs> Two teaspoons of paprika. Chili. Teaspoon. Finally, ground coriander. And a teaspoon of ground coriander. Oops. And a bit more. And then the teaspoon. It's garlic in it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, hang on, let's make sure we don't put too much in. Not have too much garlic, just keeps the vampires away. Mm. Oh, that looks awesome. It's the best Corn pieces, because one of us is a vegetarian. <laughs> I mean, you could put normal chicken in this if you were like normal, as in a meat heater. The look I got for talking about normal. <laughs> Actually, I quite like the corn. Yeah, and well, I think with the flavour, you won't necessarily notice that you're not eating. Anything to fancy. Smells amazing as well. Mm. Right, so it's chickpeas going in. Mm -hmm. So after much debate, and I don't like olives, I'm going to try some, because it says in the recipe to put olives in, so we're going to put some olives in. 
I can always pick them out. I still think it's devil's food. Right, I'll stir this bit. <laughs> right, rest of the stuff. Gork Ramsey, eat your heart out. And now, right, 250 mils of vegetable stock. Oh. And as that starts sizzling, you add how much of the cuckoos? 200 grams. 200 grams of cuckoos. Cuckoos. You just sprinkle that in. You have to make sure it's covered, apparently. Stir. And this is where I apologise to Jess because I said that was too much ingredients <laughs> and it wasn't going to fit into the Ridge Monkey. Goes to show I don't know what I'm talking about. Lucky it's extra large. And we're talking about the Ridge Monkey. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> it's officially extra large. That looks amazing. I wonder if we need a bit more water. I think we need a bit more boiling water. Just so it's covered. That's it. And then we just cover it and leave it. We have to take it off the heat now. Should turn the gas off. And then you cover it like, which is brilliant for the Ridge Monkey, because you just put the lid down, and then it's left. How long do we leave it for? Till the couscous is cooked and fluffy. Till the couscous is cooked and fluffy. And there you go. What's the dish called? It's couscous. It's a Moroccan-inspired dish with corn and couscous. For? Vegetarians and the ridge monkey yeah so this is now i'm not a big fan of olives but let me have a taste of oh i sort of like because it's all mixed in it's got a little bit of a kick isn't it mm. and all the different textures and flavors come through and you and the flavour of the chickpea, the crochet, the onions. Mmm. Well, this is very good. This is a great dish. Well done to the chef. Uh, well done to the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. Again, all cooked, one pan. Very simple. It's in the Ridge Monkey. Highly recommended. So, uh, Joe, you know what we're doing? Click subscribe, like, and all that kind of stuff for uh, more recipes, more adventures in the motorhome. Catch you later. See you later.